everybody and today I'm here with Mick Zeddy training. Let's have fun, let's have good training and let's go. Hi everybody, today I'm here. Alright, hi Karma, how are you? How are you doing? Okay, I'm ready. Do 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 I'm doing good Peshka. Hi KB. It's so warm. Okay, yeah, that's understandable. Hi KB, how are you doing? Hi Peshka, how are you? Hi Tablechik, how are you doing guys? How oh, it's everybody doing today? Okay, that's nice. Yeah, I think bananas. I played this bananas vertes kind of. No, it was it was some some other vertes. I think. I'm not sure. Captain Salazar, zero seven against Quip. And play if you get enough channel points or get matched against me here. Yeah? Hey, minus pers, how are you? Am I gonna challenge anyone? If you want to play me, save up channel points and I'll play you. Oh, it's Johnny G Elephant's Gambit today, guys. That's going to be fun, you know? No, it's okay. Guys, it's going to be cool. Elephant's Gambit. Whoa! It's going to be fun. It's Johnny. Let it go. Just saying hi. Okay, catch you tomorrow. Nice draw. All right, yeah, take care, minus first. Nice draw. What what draw one is first? Are you talking about yesterday? What did I draw yesterday? What do you mean nice draw? What did I draw? What, 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 what do you mean this draw? <laughs> Not sure. I'm gonna play a rapid game if I'll get an opponent. I found a nice draw. Can I be like, not now, at some some days I do Puzzle Storm and Puzzle Racer and then I'll play you. I'll send you the link in Twitch chat and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it and then you'll play me. If you join in time, which most people do. This game is just boring. Um, Jenny Allen lost against Golden Chicken 68. Um, Rook B5, yeah, I think Jenny Allen should win. Yep, yeah, wait, one. Alrighty. Okay, yeah. Black is just too good in this game. Let's see if I can get an opponent. It's been already four minutes and still no opponent. Interesting. Let's watch a green knight. Wins mid Ooh! What? Wait a sec, what just happened? I am playing with chess, what do you mean? Wait a second guys, can somebody explain me what on earth happened? Was it a mouse sleep from... Eh? Wait a second, but what, eh? No, okay, 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 knight g4, what is, okay, queen g4, why? Okay, understandable, what's queen g5? 
And rookie seven. What? Okay, and the same maybe that was a monster, but rookie seven. Huh? Just come trap, yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, but I mean, I'm playing on chess com. Is that the question? Not as often on the chess, though. Hello, somebody. So, in five and a half minutes, somebody accepted my challenge or no? I guess not. Okay. Yeah, see you on this first stick here. Have a good day. <sighs> nice little nasty trap here. That was bishop p6. Ooh. Yeah, Black's winning. Oh, whatever. They're yeah, I'm having a great day. Thanks, Nike. What about you? How are you doing? I don't know. Everything's boring. Ultra. Oh, I got to play a Synod player. He's from EU. Sounds a little bit like German, but okay. Hello, good luck, and let's go. D4 Another guy who plays... No, okay, Bishop B7 this time. Doing good as well. It's really nice to hear. Could be Austrian Oswiz. True! True! True, true, true. Or can be German. Um, Or it could be somebody else who just knows German. Uh, that's also a possibility, right? <laughs> I, I usually you play knight c3 d5 ideas now. Sure. I'm not sure, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm getting confused who's in you, who's not. I think d5 is a move here. And then knight h4. I think I'm not confusing lines. Maybe I am though, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure I'm not. So we'll see. And I think you go like knight f5, bishop g5, and then something like that. Or you should play knight c3 and then knight h4, I don't know. Oh yeah, this. I'm not sure how to play this. <laughs> um, oh well. Taken looks tempting, you know. Free pawn, I mean. I mean, I, I, it's my pawn which I'm getting back, but like, still. Free pawn is a free pawn, you know. Maybe I'm confusing lines. I have zero idea. I'm not sure. Feels wrong, but like maybe it's not wrong. I don't know. Where did Sorman go? He played, I mean, he went okay. Definitely not great, but even fine. Like, three and a half out of nine. Sure, yeah, not, not, not too good, but not too bad as well, you know. Uh, unfortunately, just, I mean, I gained plus one rating, which is huge, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> So not too good, but not too bad either. Hey, what? Oi.
Okay, and 85 so pretty much the idea is if this reached 94. So I'm thinking knight of 5 because I don't want him to take. Knight of 5 looks just fine. Hi, Darker, how are you? Yeah, knight of 5 should be good. I know I didn't go either knight d4 or knight before. I don't know if even knight d5. I mean, I guess it's fine. I don't know. Huge rating gain. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I also, yesterday, I played a little bit Wolterina, and then after 47 games, I gained plus one rating. Like, I'm, I'm not even happy of 40 win, a 40 game win streak. I'm just happy about the the plus one rating point, you know what I mean? Slowly but surely, you, you never make big steps, right? Slowly, you know? Slowly. <laughs> Very slowly but uh, surely, you know? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Everybody takes small steps. <laughs> the 68 to what tournaments until I am level 69. No, I'm 23 30. Again, plus 0 8. So, technically, mathematically speaking, like. I don't know, 85, 89, 90, I don't know. I don't know, I'm playing the game, uh, my mouse is over. <laughs> I think e4 is a good move, you know, I mean, e5 ideas, knight c3, bishop g5 ideas. I like e4, to be honest. Because e5 is actually a threat, he can take us in bishop b7. Hi, Lance, I'm doing good, what you? Germany of a proverb, which basically translates a squirrel feed to his difficulty. <laughs> okay. Cool. So it is a bishop g5 immediately or e4? Bishop g5 is cool. Then he gets d5, so I'll go e4. Sure he has this, but then I'm gonna take. I'm I'm gonna at least like get at least e5 e okay he goes for it immediately. Gee. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, why why I didn't try to even read it in German because uh it's hard to pronounce, you know? It's pretty difficult. <laughs> uh, I can't understand. No, I don't even understand that because too advanced language for me, but like... I could probably read it, but it would sound awful. Uh, let's take, and I think, like, rookie one. E5 is still an idea. It's easy! <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Yeah, rook c8, I thought queen d3. So the idea is to take d4, you know. Or queen a4. Now, but a3 is okay, him i in 2, but I don't really want to take a7, you can take e4 twice. So... I definitely didn't get the position I should have. My favorite type of music, I don't know. To be honest, no. Okay, I think queen d3. And then d5 there. And like 92. I don't know. Thank you for ideas. Definitely, I mean, here the position felt much more promising, right? Than here. <laughs> yeah, here it felt like I had some crushing attack, but the knight of 6, e4, knight d4, the crushing attack didn't last very long, unfortunately. Um, here it felt like 92, trying to trade this off. Yeah, well, 92, I'm not missing anything, right? 94 is a threat, then take e4, d4 is a weakness, and 85, I take, take, queen d3, I'm fine, and take, take, c5, sure, I'm pawned, and they doubled. I think 92 is fine. Okay. Definitely. Not what I hoped for. Uh, 
right here i mean i thought e4 knight f5 some mating stuff mm, quite far away from that but still i got a nice e5 pawn i guess and in harkiv cairo i was born in harkiv mm, actually quite tempting is queen g4 knight f3 bishop h6 oh my daily puzzle exactly karma don't forget your daily puzzle uh, so I have two tempting options. One is this and that, or queen g4 and then like knight f3. I'm not sure because mm, knight f3 has rook c4, but then I guess I can go queen f5 or something. Hi, Jordi, thank you. You have enough points for elephant gambit today, right? Yeah, I'll go queen g4, whatever. Or do you want to do it some next day? I mean, yeah, position definitely awful. I didn't know really how to play e4, felt logical stuff in d5, but perhaps I should have done this. So then I have like 97 ideas, I don't know, like rook d1, I don't know. But okay, it's fine. If my bishop was like on h6, it would have been even more fine, you know? It's like okay now, but it couldn't be more okay than it's okay already. I know my English is very good. Okay. Okay, yeah, queen d7. Now she said is d for props. Thanks, Paul. I really want to move my knight, but then he has like rook c4, so it's not like b3, bishop b2, but b3, there is d4, I can take and take, but I'm not so sure, uh-huh, uh-huh, and then I can take perhaps a knight e4, oh, that looks nice with knight f6 stuff, let's go b3. Okay. Yes, yeah, so pretty much idea like bishop b2. A knowing move can be rook c2, so I cannot move my bishop. Um, but okay. If he doesn't play rook c2. Most likely have to okay, please rook of d eight. The thing is I think I still don't have bishop b two because of rook c two. Um but at least can you knight f three, you know? <laughs> hmm. That would be cool if mine would be protected. But I don't wanna move it because I can get this bishop b seven ninety four. Or maybe I should move it and then d4, I don't know, something. So here, Apan Stefan. Yeah, all right, Jundi. Okay, cool. Yeah, after after this game, we can play. The knight of one is an awful move. Like I don't know how I got this bad position. It's like so passive, you know. Compared to like ten moves ago when I had this knight of five, it's so promising and now pretty. I'm doing good, thanks. What about you? I'll go for e6. 
96 bishop b2, you know, is somewhat exciting with some mating threats. I could have traded bishop b2, then yes, d4, but it's boring. It's boring. Um, fe, sure. Take, take. I got like b4, queen e6. I don't know. <clears throat> it's interesting. Good d4 is there. Hmm. Need to concentrate more now. And d4 is pretty much like the only move, I guess. I don't know what else it can. Wait, that works? Whoa. It actually may work. Huh. Interesting. Oi. Oi. Definitely not the move I expected. Uh, the, the. Yes. Wow. That's a nice move. I love it. I love it that you found it, but I love it, it looks very nice. You play D for instance. I'm not looking too great, but okay. Let's try to get my second SM norm. Yes, I'll go in one, Saki, another pawn. Wait, but yes, I do. Ooh, that looks awful. Ooh. Ooh, let g5. Ah! Hey. Okay, queen d5. Uh, let's go h4. Like the least, uh, the only thing I want in place, knight of knight g5, knight f3. Can you play d3, knight d3, please? <laughs> Would be very welcomed. Okay, join the redeem track, okay, cool. Yeah, after the game. Uh, ooh, 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 I don't know. I mean, it's definitely better than the position move I go, I think. Even if D, E, F is good for him, it's still better than he was, you know? I mean, I at least get some play, huh? I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah, he takes. Uh, now H1 or F1. Don't have much time. I decide quickly. Think H1. <coughs> It's very quick though. I will see what I can do. I think now Queen D, yeah, Queen D2 works, no? I think it does. Terrifying <laughs> position, but I don't know, we'll see. What will happen out of it? Gonna be spicy. No way, sinking with Bishop of Eight. Bishop of Five. Just like try to keep up space. Let's go A4. I'm not sure if D7 or A4 was better. D7, Rook F1 was interesting, so maybe it was better. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go d7, rook f1 ideas. Rook f1? Guess rook f8, yeah. Hmm. This very fast one. Said for too much. Really didn't want to take. I saw it for a while, that's not great. Okay. Just a hyper bullet game, you know. Reserve bullet game. Okay, and I just blunder stroke. <laughs> oh, is this a little arena? I played in it before. Do you mean? Dream signed up player. William, thank you. Didn't have Queen C here to Bishop C5? Right, yeah, I did. Yeah. No, but there he had Bishop B4, so we would have repeated. And I want Dream signed up player. Yeah, that was an awful game. What did I, how did I mess up? So D5 here. Uh, so it, it works when I play Knight C3 and then D5 or what? Yeah, there it works, Knight H4. Uh, I think I messed up the lines, right? Yeah. I can challenge me. So, ah, oh, d5 immediately. <laughs> okay, I messed up the lines. Funny, funny, funny. Yeah, d5 immediately. And then he takes, I go like 9 out of 5, and then I'm fine. And then, like, once he was plus, five, plus 8, uh, then he was plus 5 again. Uh, then he was winning for me at queen of 5. I missed that. Uh-huh, and then I had bishop g7, so that was an interesting game, N not very clean. Uh, during the I'm gonna challenge you, uh, but yeah, my opponent played extremely well, but, 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 okay. Yeah, I didn't play too, too well. During the I challenged you. Mm -hmm. I'm playing with white pieces. Good luck, Johnny. And let's go. Like he could have been rook d8. Yeah, perhaps. I don't know. I didn't play best game. I messed up the lines. I thought queen c2 d5 knight h4 works. But it's apparently d5 knight h4 without. I don't think I'm I actually would have played knight f6. <laughs> I would have actually messed up the content. Oh, man. I think that's uh, queen e7. I'm not sure how to play. I think I'm fine though. I'm not sure. That's famous last words, but. No, <laughs> wait a sec. Queen b5? B7 hangs and C6 I take. Oh, I think maybe Johnny blundered. Yes, we're gonna have to be D7, I think. Let's uh, take. A little bit, I'm a little bit greedy. Uh, but I don't think he has like any thing crazy for it, you know. I think I'm fine taking c7 as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Johnny just resigned, okay. GG Johnny, I'm, I'm sorry that the game was short. Oh wow. Well. 
I'm not gonna play you. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, okay, I played Neil Neil Neil. How? Wait a sec, but how? Okay, Queen P5 isn't the best move or what? Nah, but Leech, yes, hello. Ah, blunder Bishop G4. Yeah, Bishop G4 was a blunder, you had to go Knight BD7. The elephant is dead. Ah, uh, Karmar, I need to under. Uh, you need to, I need your investigation. Hold on. E4, E5, Knight of 3. Right, look. ED, best move. E4, Queen E2, best move. This. 94 best move. This, 93 best move. This, queen b5 best move. This, queen b7 best move. My question is, how did I get 80 accuracy? How? If I make the best moves, how did I get only 80 accuracy? I leave chess, hello? Queen b7 best move by far. Queen b5 best move by far. 94 was like the only move. 93 was in, as well, like one of the only moves. I need to investigate karma. Thanks for the follow x3 tanoi 312. Good game, Johnny. I'm sorry if it was short, but yeah, next time don't play the elephant, okay? Uh it's a bad opening. Yeah, it is. I play I think I played well though. Even though Alicia just said 80 accuracy, I think I played the best lines. Because I knew that Queen E2, if you go knight of six, I go d3. And then Queen D5, I have O Knight C O Knight B D2 and I'm better. Probably the game was too short to calculate percentage precisely. But that hurts my feelings, you know? I thought I played perfectly, but I don't. Okay, this game was not perfect and not even close to being perfect. That was like very awful. I messed up the lines. He had to trade queens instead of E6. E6 was way too risky. But like yeah, I messed up the lines D5. That was awful. Uh, D5 immediately. Uh, had to be played, and then knight h4, c6 is uh, the line, uh, take, take, then knight d5, I played queen c2, d5, it was bad, at worst position, he actually played extremely well, uh, for the thing that hasn't even been, like, played at all, he played really well, knight d5 is actually, is it top engine move or no, knight b4, I'm not gonna play, sorry, The engine doesn't load. It is a little unfortunate. Yeah, 95 is the only move which helps the advantage. And that's like hard to find. Wow. Okay, knight of six. No, yeah, he played knight of six. Which also, yeah, he played extremely well this game. He's definitely underrated. Um, But fortunately for me, Karmar! 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 Did I learn second SM? Did you play video games? Yeah, I do. Karmar! Did I learn. Thank you, I know what puzzles are. Karma! Did I learn my second SM norm or no? The game should not be calculated for games. Ah, okay, yeah, that is true. That is true. Karma, did I learn my second... I actually learned two SM norms. I was minus five twice. Or actually three times. And then I won. Karma, I should get three SM norms in one game. I also play... F yeah, that's true. I didn't know chess is a video game. Yeah, I mean, no, not like that. No, I play other video games as well. I have had this puzzle. I've had this puzzle. Hmm. Nah. No, none of those. I don't like this. Now this window must be bigger. What do you mean? When you got your first story, it was when you drew. It's only a kid versus two queens. Right. But th that you have to get DFM. Dirty Flagmaster. <laughs> I don't play CSGO or what I play like Minecraft, Rocket League, all that stuff. They haven't haven't started playing this like shooter games yet. 97 then Queen D5. No, but 97, wait, 97, uh, he takes and then Queen D5 he takes as well. I got my first BM title. Congrats, I guess. Oh, VQLX, thanks for the follow. Play this yesterday, no, not today. But soon, we are getting close to 1,200 members on my team, so then I'll play you Um, I had this puzzle. Don't remember the solution. It was like a weird puzzle right where I castled or something, no? It was. 
it definitely was. I think it was. It was impossible. Yeah, but I think it was castle. They got me so surprised. The question is, do you take knight e7 or bishop e7? I don't know. Bishop e7 feels safer, because knight e7 he gets this knight e5, you know? Which may or may not be good for him. Yeah, it's bishop e7. Nay, was castle! Ah! And then knight e7. Okay, and then I do two F3. That was the 97. Then Queen E7 castle. I get D5. Okay, it's the right idea. Like in this game, I have the right idea, but I make the wrong run. It's pointing. Um, okay. I guess. Good one. Ah, the thing is, right? If, if King F1, he has A8, and then D8, and then Rook F8, Rook E8, he draws. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's actually quite crazy. Wow. That bad plan is better than no plan. That is true. That is true. But when your plan, instead of giving you plus 0 pi, uh, 0 0.5 advantage, gives you minus 5 position, I'm not sure. Probably it's better than no no plan than this plan. Or? <laughs> I'm not sure. It actually most likely is kin f3, not kin e3. Because kin e3, he also has a8, I think, and rook a d8, and then take, take this. Yeah, it's kin f3. And then perhaps they just go f4, f5, and this like st elevator puzzle or staircase. I don't remember how it's called. Pretty much where you go, like, right? You go king. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much where you go king to c2. Ah, where you go. Yeah, with king to b3, king c2. He he checked you, you go king c2, he goes through e4, rooks this, king b3. Oh, Nakin uh, E2, thank you so much for 50 bits. Looking fresh with a new haircut, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Glad you like it. It's pretty cool, I like it as well. I think it's Kina 4. Yeah, now I can just simply take now and take and then E1 and King G5. Yeah, could have done it faster. I uh, just had to make sure everything was good. But yeah, appreciate the 50 bits. <sighs> okay, let's see what's up here. Huh, I'm not sure. It is interesting this bishop h3 mate thing, right? Uh, but the thing is, if I take, he can take, and bishop h3 is not possible because my bishop is pinned, you know? So I may have found to find something there or completely different first move. Unfortunate thing as well is bishop h3, queen c7 is Swiss check. And if I don't want to lose my rook and lose the game, I have to take and then he takes h3 and I'm lost as well. <clears throat> so that, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It can be rook f1 and then take. Unfortunately, bishop h3, king g1 works, but he has king e1. And after king e1, queen c1, rook uh, d1, I am not super sure. I'm good there, you know. Bishop C knight C and Rook D two. I think is fine there. <coughs> uh huh. What else do I have? I don't know. Not too much, I think. Queen of four E F. He gets King G two next. So yeah, I don't think it is Queen of four and then something. <coughs> I'm sure. What else can it be? It can be like bishop e5 and an f6. I'm not sure. Hmm. It is interesting. 
and like king d7, bishop h3, and if queen moves f rook d8, that actually can be correct. So the thing is, if king d7, bishop h3, he has rook d5 with check, so I'm not sure. So maybe I have to go king d6, but then f4 with check, so I'm not sure. Um, but I think it's, no, it's not that. No, it's not this either. It's not that either. What is it? It's this. No, but wait, why didn't you go king... Why didn't he go king g2? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's just bishop h3. Check, take, check, check here, check, check, check. No, not take, uh, but check, checkmate. <clears throat> yeah, makes sense. Makes sense, I think bishop h3 is the move. Bishop h3, he has queen c7, unfortunately. He has bishop, uh, queen c7, and then I, if I move my king, he has queen c1 with my rook, and if I take, he has bishop h3. So it's not that, I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong as well. So then I need to be sad. What's a difficult puzzle? Okay, but here it somewhat has to be bishop g6, right? With queen h8. And take the queen g6, rook of, yeah, it has to be this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it takes. Alright, now we have rook f1 with rook f6. And king e7, <coughs> rook f6. Yeah, it has to be rook f1. Um, and now it's most likely rook f6, rook f7. Oh no, wait, rook f6 is queen g8, gotta be careful. Gotta check everything. It can be queen. No, it's queen of six, king d7. This. Yeah, okay, that was a nice puzzle. It was like the same rated as previous puzzle, and they were more or less equally easy. Yeah, last puzzle, I just messed up the solution. Um, okay. So. So. This looks like it traps a queen, right? Well, I think it doesn't, because he has knight c6. And if king 8 is bishop d7 mate, and b takes c, there's rook d7, king 8, queen of 7 mate. So I think what I have to do is um, perhaps play queen c5, and if he moves the king, then I do that. Knight f5, I'm taking, I'm winning, knight c6, I have queen c6. But, but, the thing is that he has rook c3. Then, perhaps, I don't know, not sure, no, I don't think queen c3 works. Now, Queen City doesn't work because he is there, he has Knight of 5, Knight H6. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Yeah, Rook 3 is a nice move. Um. <laughs> it can actually, wait a second, be this Rook. Knight c6 take, he doesn't have rook d7. Knight of 5 I take, I'm chilling. And if he goes like queen h6 or queen h7, I go rook d1, rook g1, can c2, queen h2, and then queen h3. Uh. And uh, queen c5? Rook dg8, I don't think it wins because he has knight of 5. And then king e6, otherwise he takes queen of 6, and then he has knight h6, check, and then he takes my rook. I think. Uh, this is interesting. But queen h7 here. Okay, if rook d1, I take, take, take c5 from winning. But this, 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 this. Queen h2. He has rook d2, so after I take, he has knight f5. And check queen h8, mate, and king e6. He takes. I don't know, it's interesting. But I have queen f5. Okay, I think it is this, though. He has queen h7 exactly. It can be rook d4, rook d4, rook d4, queen e3. Ugh. Doesn't look too great, you know. Um, rook g1, king c2. And then rook d4, wait a sec then. Carol, by the way, did you solve your daily puzzle or no? Or still not? Not sure, not sure. Rook d4 is exciting, but I'm not sure. I forgot, I need to do it now. Yeah, you actually reminded and then you forgot. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 Karmar. 
No, you can forget them on your way to success. <laughs> uh, Rook G1, King C2. It's easily a difficult puzzle, or I'm just being me soft. Rudy 1, Queen 2, Rudy 2, Queen H3. Thank you for the follow, Georgia Barack, and just in a fun. Uh, why is that from? Yeah, that works, but Queen H. No, that, that is in 1F, Queen E6. I think that works. But the thing is, I think it's Queen C2, Queen H2, you can go Queen B3. And then Queen H2, Knight F5. King e6, rook d8, and if I take yes, rook e8 and takes my knight. So, okay, that was quick, Karma. That was actually super quick. <laughs> oh man. That was super, super quick. <laughs> Simple queen fork. Good job. Respect, respect, respect. So this is not on tournament, you open and just crushing you on time. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a great. Not the game I'm the most proud of, but yeah, we haven't played very well. Wait, I had this puzzle. No, I had this puzzle. Why do I get the wait, I had this puzzle. No, wait, now and I remember I had it. No, he actually wait, he was through each one quick. No I but I had this puzzle. I had this puzzle like two streams ago. I was rook d4, rook g1. Or did I not have this? No, but I had them since. No, I had this puzzle. You can play time means. No, sorry. I had this puzzle. No, I didn't have it. No, I didn't. Wait, guys, I'm so confused. I think I had this position. But then th this position didn't happen. He went for something easy. That I think after. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, I have to take the rook. I have to take this rook. Only four hours game, yeah. And now fun! Calculation. So I think if king f3, uh, he first goes king h4, and if bishop b7, king h5, here, 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 king g6, and double attack, and he's winning. So I think maybe it's bishop e 7 immediately. h7, bishop f6. h8, I take king h4. And then I have king f4, king f6, king f3, king e4. So... It is probably bishop e 7 Bishop f here. Take me yeah. out. Okay, that was pretty simple. Um, okay. <laughs> Shiba 4 is an interesting move. Uh, probably not correct, but the idea is knight c6 and then knight c7. So the hardest when so many pieces. Actually, yeah, no. I think it's like the puzzle I failed uh, lastly. That was like super hard. This doesn't feel that hard. Knight 6 wins a pawn. But I'm thinking bishop f4, knight 6 knight 7 win an exchange as an idea. And just kidding, yeah. In my opinion, I think the hardest puzzles are the end game puzzles, you know. These are just so hard. I think it's actually perhaps this. Knight 6 this, c, d, i, take. Oh, no, wait, here's queen d7. Ew. It's queen d7. 
Uh, wait, then bishop here, I take here first and then this, yeah. Bishop four, oh my eye. Ah. Oh my eye was itching. Ugh. I know perhaps knight e7, bishop e5. Oh, bishop e5 first to knight d6 or just something else. Um. I think it's just knight c7, no? And perhaps it's it can be or knight a8 or bishop b5. Knight a8 probably is more correct. I'm not sure. So idea knight a8, and if knight c6, I just go knight c7. But then he has g5, and I'm not sure. But bishop e5, he has f6. So then when I ah, but then I have queen a8. Eh. Can be bishop e5 actually. Mm, that is interesting. But bishop e5 here is bishop d7, queen a5, b6. Yeah, okay, it's 96. 98. What game is this? I know what game is this. It was, actually, it has the highest puzzle rating, but it actually didn't feel that hard, you know? It was just like me making sure everything is good. Okay, it's queen e1. And then queen e5. And now it's probably it can be queen b8. So if he takes takes d2, I promote. Or queen b8, queen e5, I go d2. And then queen c7. I'm gonna rush it. Okay, I still got plus 5. Okay. <laughs> I was queen d5 and then d2. Yeah, makes sense. Hi, Pokey, how are you doing? Long time to see. What's up? How are you? f6 is interesting, this rook e4, uh, but I'm not sure I think he has perpetual right there. Uh-huh, so f6 probably doesn't work then. King d6. Oh, that's actually a great move, yeah. But king d6, queen b7 with queen c7 idea. I have f6, queen c7, king d5. It's, a, it's interesting. Maybe it's correct, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not super sure, but it can be. <laughs> it, is, it is very aggressive, you know? Very pretty aggressive. But can be correct. Now, I, I'm not sure, I think he at least has perpetual. It's queen c7, queen b7. If this, queen c7, yeah. I'm fine, that's nice. It's nice to hear. I think unfortunately, yeah, I think this doesn't work because it's just queen d4. Um, yeah, and f6 doesn't work, I think. Though, it is interesting that queen of 6 no wait, queen of 6 doesn't work, what am I talking about? Oh, f6, no, but then this, bleh. I thought queen d6, but then queen e6. Huh. Wait a second, but is but technically is queen e4 queen e4 you know not king e4 rook e4 gf gf king f6 is this endgame win? I think it is right. So maybe I should go into yeah I think so no. Yeah and he takes I take yeah this endgame was winning. Cool. Cool. Wait a second. How much puzzles? Wait wait wait. Did I already solve six? I'm not sure. Just making sure. One, two, three, four, five. No. Five. Okay. What's the move? It was f6 and then queen e4. And then if he trades, I go rook e4, gf, king f6. And then king f8, rook b4, I have a winning rook end game. That's a nice transition to the rook end game. I loved it. It's very cool. I mean, it has to be EF, right? Yep. 
probably 94 or 95. I think it's one of these two. 94 and 95 is interesting. Um, but this, this, 95. And by the way, Pookie, are you happy that City won the Champions League or no? Or are you neutral? No, it has to be 90, it has to be this and Bishop of 4. Yeah. Okay, 6 and 4 failed. Pretty smooth, I think. I can say that. Um, okay. Mm, um, yeah. Now, guys, I'm going to make a poll. Make a poll. The neutral. Okay, okay. Uh, this is dark. Okay. Uh, what should I do? I let you guys decide Komodo or a blindfold stockfish. I'll give you guys two minutes to decide what you want me to see. Play against Komodo or blindfold stockfish. Um, probably Totally Journal will like seeing me play against Komodo. <laughs> but maybe you guys. Yeah, my mom played 0 3 5 actually. I played 5 2 4. It was an awful game. Nice ball. Really? Ah, the uh, Komodo. Yeah, then vote, Joseph. You can vote. Okay, whoa, Komodo 4, wow. You guys love Komodo. You love my handshake agreement in Komodo, as it seems. <laughs> Very cool move. So they save that. And this you just want the rook. Yeah, it probably... Unless some crazy, crazy, crazy comeback from Blindfold Stockfish, it probably is Komodo. 5 for 1. This is different between Komodo and Stockfish. Uh, I mean, I guess uh, Komodo is on Chesco and uh, Stockfish is on I don't know. Plus, I don't have the scene set up so I can play Blindfold and you can see the board on Chesco. Um, so not, not too huge difference, I guess you can say. Um, yeah. <laughs> was, this puzzle was 6, 36, 72. How? You just take a 995 bishop before the puzzle's over. So it's much better. So for she's much better, right? But it's interesting, both both are interesting to play against. Okay, unless like in two seconds, five votes for. Yeah, no. That's not happening, and I am, guys, gonna play Komodo! Oh, it's still like his 10 seconds, but okay. Yeah, it's 6 words already. Komodo level 22, blindfold with black pieces. Uh, that is gonna be interesting. I usually play him with white, but with black it's gonna be fun as well. Uh, let's go e6. Komodo is a cooler name. True. Komodo is said to be playing more human-like. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he takes f6? Why oh, would you take f6? Eh? Why would you take f6 though? It's not Komodo that's a GM. <laughs> I think I can castle. Yeah, Komodo blunders much more. That's what I can say. I think a5 is a nice move, so I can perhaps get knight a6, 87. Let's go g6. Thing should be okay. That's not human moves at all! Human move for, why would you play g3? Think about blunder more than Sokers. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. It does definitely blunder much more. But what's the point? Like, why why would the human play h3? Why g3? I have flight square bishop, I can go like bishop h3. <laughs> I'm not sure how human like he plays. Uh, I think he maybe plays way too human. <laughs> oh man, I'm not sure. By the way, we have 
30 viewers! Wow, welcome everybody! What kind of opens do you play with the board? I don't know. Pretty much. The, the, the opponents which I prepare. Uh, <laughs> the opponents I prepare against my opponents. Let's go B5. <laughs> Turbo chess come commander. Okay. Chess com Yeah, that's definitely human. Like, definitely human, right? It's definitely human to not play like bishop b1, knight d3, b4. It's definitely human to play g3. <laughs> That's so human! That is so human, oh man. Now that's like the most... Finally, congrats, Simon. So you, you are playing bad chess after all, congrats. Congrats. I think h5 is fine, no? He has knight g6. He wants to attack on the king side. Sure, but like, is it what humans do? I thought humans don't play like that, don't play like that do they? Maybe I'm outdated. He's coming for you. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ter I'm truly terrified. To the 97. Yeah, that's definitely what human does, right? Just in a positional positional position, he definitely plays g3 h4 and sucks his bishop. I can't have probably plays a lot of bullet. I mean, yeah, that probably works, but like, it's not what human does! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Starfish, and you stay here and have fun. I think I'm pretty lost here. Mm. <coughs> I'm pushing P7, what else can I play in? And like, we need 7. Just like hoping to survive, you know? Okay, if you trade G7, I'm fine. Excuse me, like, what is this? How human is that? That's not human at all! <laughs> Why? Maybe it's creative human. No, but literally, what is the point? You play G3, H4. You weaken up your light squares. Then you play Bishop G6. Then instead of like playing queen c6 and trying to make an attack, you trade queens. What? No, what is this? It's just that is, that is so triggering. See, it's actually impossible to make an engine play like a human simply because. Yeah, that's true. But like, what is that? Even even if you had a chair, what? Why are you doing this? You just gave me a piece for three pawns, and I can simply because if you bring in g3, I can simply counter these three pawns with my bishop on f3. I can literally just put my bishop on f3, he'll never push these pawns. These three pawns he has as a combination, gone! I think the real commander is stronger though. Maybe. But I've seen videos, commando versus stockfish, stockfish doesn't even leave a chance to commando. I think I'm actually gonna go bishop f3 right. Right. No, I'm not sure. I could have. I can trade. Rook a, take, take. Uh, why didn't I draw yours? Take, take. With idea knight 796. But I think he's in time to go king g2 and a knight seven f3. So. <clears throat> I have bishop f5. Bam, bam. And then I, I'm not sure though. Maybe he tries to play like Levy, maybe. But he didn't sacrifice the rook though. That is the problem. If you sacrifice the rook, then sure, but as he doesn't sacrifice the rook, he doesn't pass the levy test. Um, yeah, I think bishop f3 is a good move. Yeah, I thought he would play that. Maybe that's a mistake to play bishop f3. <coughs> I should have kept my bishop on there. Take, take, take. King g2, knight c7, f3, bishop e6. Should have been more or less fine. Yeah, I was winning after a, b, a, b, take, take, take. Knight a, king g2, knight 7 f3, bishop e6. And then, ah, uh, he has g5, I don't know. 
then pretty much in, I just end up losing a pawn. And then we have four pawns, which is quite a good compensation, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Yeah, four pawns is actually gonna be huge compensation. <laughs> just one pawn can make the huge, 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 gigantic, enormous difference. Um, hmm. Oh wait, do I actually lose a pawn? This, this, and then bishop e2, and then I have knight before bishop c4, and then ah, maybe I don't end up losing a pawn. Hopefully. Yeah, now wait, bishop e2. This I go here. The pawn is protected. Take five things. Yeah, I think that works. And bishop c4, a6 I take. Okay, I take. Yeah, sure, his pawn move, his pawns move. Um, but I can try knight a6, I guess. Which is like, okay, if he takes an a3 is a weakness, it's game over. And if knight c2, it's perhaps like, I don't know. If knight c2, I can perhaps go like c5 or go like rook e8, this and that. I think I'll try knight a. And wait, if he does nothing, I can go rook a4. Let's try knight a6. Okay, it doesn't... Oh, gosh. <laughs> These pawns are actually terrifying me. Um, let's go rook a4. It literally doesn't care about anything. It just wants his pawns to... It just wants to push his pawns. Wow. Um, the wait a second. Can I take and play rook e8? So the idea if he moves... My idea is to double up, right? And if he moves to b, when I go like rook e2, rook f8. Ooh, I'm actually gonna try that. It looks interesting. Let's go rook e8. I mean, it's terrifying me, but I'll try anyway. Yeah, I'll go here. I'll go rook a2, and I like rook f8. Help! That was his long-term plan. <laughs> Yeah, it actually was. So it was actually playing like you, and he had a plan. Um, now our position is like crazy. How can I crash Komodo? La 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 la. How can I crash Komodo? Do 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 do. How can I crash Komodo? Tra la 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 la. Sing me a rock beat. I mean, I'm terrified to make any move, you know? Like, literally scared. Okay, I think in g6, because king h7, f5, you know? Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, no way. No way this works. Okay, I think I gotta go rook e7. It's preventing h7. If f5, I take and I have rook e8. If king g4, I go bishop g. Yeah, I think I rook e7 actually, and I'm better maybe. Yeah, and I thought bishop d3. It's a bishop f5 check. Chill! No, wait a second. But here, king of 3 bishop e4, no? My goodness. How can I crash command and turn the room? <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice one. Out now. Uh, no, but legit, what, what, what is like actually going on here? <laughs> help! 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 Komodo is trying to uh, make me confused. Make, make, my, make my mind blow. I need help. Um. Okay. No, but the thing is, is that here his skin is stuck and the rook cannot move, right? But he has f5. And king of 5 he has rook f1. And king g6, rook f6, he takes an evolution. What I can do is take an rook e6. I'm terrified to make a move, so I'm not sure I'm still gonna sink, you know? Because why not? It's 
keep it <laughs> on the live stream because a komodo a komodo is trying to make his mind low. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that is that is some breaking news. No, but literally, the, this position is insane. A bishop and three pawns versus six pawns! And the pawns are on dark square, and my bishop is light square, right? I literally block them, but how do I win that? I can't say cheating, but... <laughs> that is true. That is true. I probably cheat. Even though I don't like accusing anyone, we need karma to in 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 investigate. No, but actually, I'm so confused. <clears throat> okay, but this... Okay, if the rooks and these pawns fall off, right? This should be winning, right? Oh, no, I'm not sure he has rook c1, rook c6, I don't know. Detective Karma. I always suspected that Komodo was using stoppage. <laughs> yeah, uh, Komodo engine using stoppage. That is cool. Detective Karma, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I need help. Man, but it feels winning. But how to win? And am I even winning? It's just like Fata Morgana. Doing this to me. Just try, man. Why can't we just make our handshake agreement? Well, the question is why didn't I play rook c7? Why didn't I play rook c7? So then I have rook e3. And just have rook c3. E. Takeable. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. Because rook c6, bishop e6 is not worth doing. Because f5, king f5, rook f1, king e4, rook e6, king d4, he takes, takes g6, is winning. And king g6 is rook f6, take king e6. Never mind. But the thing is, it's I can play rook e6. And I'm just trying to find out if I'm fine there or no. You know? That's like the thing I was stuck on for like past 10 minutes. I'm still not sure. Yeah, makes sense. I'm just trying to find out, like, is um, is any game without the rooks and the pawns, these two pawns winning? Because, like, right, bishop f5, king g3, bishop f5, he has rook c1, but I have rook a3. And, like, king f2, you know, these pawns are terrifying, you know? Uh, so I'm, like, not sure if I'm fine there or not. Sure, if these three pawns go even for one of these pawns, I'm fine, but like, if not, I'm not sure. But okay, if king g3? Oh wait, but he even has rook e1, right? And then bishop f3? Oh, he has rook e8, and then rook a3, he has rook g8, rook g7. Oh! Hurts. Or should I just, or should I just block everything and then draw? It's also possible. I like wanna take a risk, but I don't wanna take a risk, which is too risky, you know. It makes no sense, but pretty much. Eee. Eee. Help. It's even more complex than a puzzle, you know. Cause like here, here, rook a4, there, and if I take he takes, I probably lose, you know, these four pawns are like quite risky, you know? Um, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm missing something. That's rook c4. But then you can take rook c4. Uh, uh. Hold on, but uh, now I need to find out if, um, oopsie. If Oh, is it? If rook c1, rook b4, rook c6, rook c4, rook e6, bishop e6, rook a1, rook c6 is winning with bishop f5 idea. I love 
chess, you know. It, they're not com it's not complex at all. It is very easy. But rook c6, rook h7, rook g7, he promotes, no? And if rook 7 he has rook a6, yay! <sighs> I don't ever draw the rook a4, rook c4. So, like, if, if I want to draw, sure. Wait! Rook a4, rook c1, rook a3, rook c7, rook e3, rook g7, king of 5, h7, king of 4, rook f7. No, but oh my goodness. So rook e6, thank you for the follow. Isagi, Hiramura, and Joyce, and a fun. Rook e6, this, 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 takes rook c6, rook b4, rook c4, takes, takes, rook a1, here, here, rook a3, he has rook c7, rook e3, rook g7, king of 5, a is this, this, feels like I've made, but he has rook f7. And I'm somewhat forced to take, and an h8, I'm losing. And if king of 4, he has g6. Why is chess so easy, guys? That's my question. Why is chess too simple? But like, actually... I'm pretty sure I can easily draw, right? Rook e6, rook c3, I don't know, just go rook e7, idea, rook e3, right? He probably will go rook h1, c1. Ha! Ah, but then rook here, take, 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 bishop e6. Thank you for the volunteer saying of one amount LB. Wait, but he has rook e1. After rook e1, king g3, king f2, and then rook c1. So this was winning, I think. This, 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 rook e6. And the idea is I'm setting mating one. Rook c3 shouldn't work, I hope. Uh, and rook e6, bishop e6, rook e has to go rook h1, then bishop f5, zook one, you know? Something like that. But the thing is, is here you're gonna go rook e1. And then king g3, king f2. And then go rook c1. Yeah, should I just go for a draw? I don't see how to win this. I can risk, but I'm not sure if the risk is like worth it. I would, if rook e3, rook c6, bishop e6 worked, I would have gone for it without thinking. But f5 and king of 5 rook of 1, king e4, rook e6. And king g6, rook of 6, rook e6. And it doesn't work. Otherwise, if it would have worked, I would have gone without thinking. Go for a droid, blunder it away later anyway. Because he's a human or because he's a bad engine? <laughs> um. something I'm not sure. Ah wait this perhaps rook e6 rook c3 rook a2 with the idea of this and take but yes king g3 king g3 usually intuition is quite good right yeah, but I, I'm, I was here for like 20 minutes and I don't see anything. <laughs> King G3 saves him with a7 threat. I just would have rook G2, rook G4, and rook G5 and winning, but this saves him. Does it? Rook AE2. 
h7 but then h7 I can stop him I have rook c2 but then he takes and king f2 or even h7 okay rook e6 okay at least he went rook c3 you know how funny it would be if he wouldn't go rook c3 i would have laughed so hard <laughs> this is so funny like so so funny and i think i just go here Why you play in rook g1 though? Huh. Because your idea was h7. But now maybe rook a2 works. But I don't have rook g2, but I have rook e2. Rook a2, king g3, rook e2, rook... I don't know. And like, I know it seems like I cannot really move my bishop and king, you know? If I could, I could maybe transform my king here, put bishop on g6, but if I do that, he'll just probably get h7, g6 quickly. But rook a2, rook c1, rook g2, rook c6, rook g4, king h3, rook, <sighs> rook g5, king h2, rook h6, king g3, rook, hey, then I have rook h3, rook e3, ts king g2, rook h6, take, take, rook c5, king f5, <laughs> Okay, but rook a2 shouldn't hurt, I'll try it, just in case. Uh, but king g3. Wait, but rook b2? Yeah, but here, here, and then like rook a7, rook g7. Ah, oh, that's even harder than the puzzles in survival, you know? It's like so hard. Yeah, this rook a1, rook a7. I think saves him. No, that does does it. What if I go rook e to first, force him force him to go there, and then go rook b two, and then he goes there, and then and then and then I can perhaps check him. He goes king g four. I go rook g two, king h three. And like these pawns are evolved. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Rook b2. It feels like I have something there, but like maybe it's just some false hopes. I don't know. Rook b4, rook e7, rook e7 is like awfully scary. Is it the... uh, I, I don't know. <clears throat> Just don't really know. Wait, but what if I go rook A for here? Here? Then I take, take rook c4, probably take, take rook a1, but his skin is not as close. 
Maybe I can go rook c3 because rook a7 I take e 2 check, but then he has king f2. Uh, rook a1, there I have perpet repetition. Um, if b4, rook a7, no, but rook a, he has rook a6 instead of rook a7. No, but I'll go rook a4. And just rook a6 if rook c1. I don't see anything. King of three here, I thought just to check him. Check him back. Okay, he doesn't want to draw. I guess I can go king e7 here. Um, I think king e7 is fine. Yeah, I don't see how I can break through, to be honest. He does have rook h1. Yeah, okay, just draw. I tried. I really did, but... Unfortunately, he drew. Yeah, I'm probably winning, but I just don't know how. It, it feels like I'm taking too big of a risk, you know? And like, I didn't see, because bishop e4, he goes king g4 immediately. I don't know. Oh, gosh. It wasn't that winning, you no? Know? Uh, why is it all black? No. No, did they change something? No, no it's so hard to see it, Venna. No. Oh, but that's like literally impossible. To... Eeeh. Huh? How does that work? Okay, good thing he says I was maximum plus 0 0.7. Um, at least I wasn't winning. I had to try this. And if king of three go rook h2, and if rook a1 go king h4, uh, this, this, this game review is somewhat confusing. Yeah, okay, I guess when he goes down, he has advantage, when he goes up, I have advantage, I don't know. Uh, but okay, 92.7 uh, accuracy for him, 92.8 for me, one brilliant move for him, bishop g6, guys, funnily enough, was actually a brilliant for him, zero brilliant move for me, four great move for him, three for me, 18 pass move for him, uh, 21 for me, six excellent for him, four for me, two good move for me, six for him, uh, no, two good move for me, four for him, six book and switch was, nine is, nine x for him, five for me, four me, six for him, two for me, zero miss for him, three for me, and zero balance switch was, maybe four was he miss, I had zero seven advantage, and then, yeah, I don't know. At least I wasn't winning, you know. That's what makes me somewhat happy that it didn't throw a totally win position. But it was a very interesting game. I was slightly better. Uh, you had a chance to play better. What was the chance to play better? Ninety-seven. Nope. Uh, what was the chance to play better though? H five. Nope. Queen d six. Nope. Uh, queen c7? Nope. Queen e7? Nope. What's the chance to play better? Should be 6? No. Should be 7? Okay. I guess. I definitely saw it by an accident. I definitely didn't check it. Uh, knight, okay, 97. That was a nice hint. So I guess when it goes down here, the advantage when, I'm, uh, when it's above, I the advantage. So pretty much here was drawn. Let's see how far it went. Zero seven. Zero three. Zero one. Zero seven. So the highest advantage I had was zero seven. Okay. It felt better, but yeah. Okay, rookie two. But when I check, it says it's zero two. So I had like no advantage. We both played like thirty one hundred. Okay. Now some guys are even playing inside not player. Uh, uh, 5 2 4 for me and 0 3 5 for him. I messed up the lines here. You play usually knight c6 and then d5. Um, but I played queen to d5. Uh, I had to take dc and then queen c3 here and I would have been fine because oops, I closed the chat unfortunately on, on, on an accident. I'm back. Would you wrote anything? Yeah. Uh, this is this e4 inactivated go for knight c3. Then if one nice knight d4. And then I got a worse position. Thank you for the follow. Seven traps. Enjoy, stay here, and have fun. This is 95. Oh, no, I must slipped. 
the finger slip. Let's see if I was a mistake here, go for d4, and it would be much better because yeah, my knight is my position is very passive. Here I have to take d7, play bishop a3. Yeah, it was equal. I decided to play e6, try to be aggressive. This is this here. I have to go queen of five. Here at queen of five himself, and yeah, pretty much f2 hangs and after knight d2, he has bishop b4. I have to move. And then rook a2 is just winning. Yeah, I kind of went all in. He played rook d6, which was a huge blunder. He missed knight e3. And now if he takes, I got queen d5, king h1. Queen d2 was a blunder, I need to go for queen e4. I want to go queen e4, last second I played queen d2. I hear it queen e3. And then pretty much his threat is rook e1 and rook c1. And why queen e4 this didn't work? It's because I have king g2 and he doesn't have rook c2 win my queen. Makes sense. Yeah, yet bishop is This is a5 mistake, I go for rook d8. I go for rook one, I go for rook d8. Obviously, rook d2 ideas. This is this here, rook d2. I had queen of five. That would be winning. Queen h5, then bishop g7. That would be winning. Here, I go for knight b2. I go for bishop g7 once again. And if he takes, I have queen c3. Very nice. Rook up to this, this would be better as well. And knight c3 blind, I go for rook e2. We just blind rook in one move and one dream titan player. Um, bishop d7. Uh huh. Not queen of five. Queen of five and bishop to g7. Yeah, but Karma, what do you think about the game in Skamoto? Was it interesting or no? It felt like he was much, much winning, but like I, I was much, much better, but like couldn't find it. And apparently, the best side was like 0.7. But I think it was interesting, you know? Some crazy material imbalance is quite fun always. Because like it was pretty insane. He has three points every bishop. It feels like you're winning. Did you have a problem with moving too quickly in tournament games? I have a young player in my chest lap who is really starting to sink longer. It's definitely interesting, any advice? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, sometimes, yeah. But like, usually when I move too quickly, I'm in time trouble. And I just don't calculate the move well enough. And it was a blunder, it happened recently. I'm not sure. I guess like, recheck everything? But like the problem is sometimes I re check everything too much and I, I want to make a move and then I think another 10 extra minutes for no reason because I, I am not sure about the move, you know. Yeah, okay, d5 immediately. Uh, this is, but um, that was a mistake. Yeah, d5 here is, has to be played and then you go knight h4 and then c6 take um, knight d5 this and it would be slightly better. Uh, this, that was a, another mistake I had to take and it would be equal. I don't know. I guess just 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 try to make sure you didn't land anything. I think when I do it, I do it way too much. Yeah, the oh many. I'm not sure it was even my acting blood. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, he had 97. It would be even better. Um, if it was another mistake, I had to go for uh, queen a4, right? So he wouldn't have 94, and then d5, knight c3, rook c8, bishop g5, d4, um, rook a d1. This, this take, knight d5, this bishop f6, gf, queen f6, knight four would be equal. Okay. For me, it's usually the opposite, I think, for too much, you know. I really love spending time. Um, yeah, that was a mis blunder. Nah, okay, it was a mistake. He had to play d4, and it would be much better. My pieces have not developed, and it would be just much, much better. e6 was a blunder for me. That was a blunder. I'd go for queen d7, uh, rook d7, bishop here, uh, bishop here, d4, uh, bishop b7, rook b7, rook c1, it would be equal. Okay, knight e6, this, 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 that was a blunder. I'd go for queen f5. Um, no, okay, it's actually, it says it's h4, yeah, h4 also makes sense, h4 with some compensation. One term, it is probably better to think too much than too little. That is true, but like sometimes in my last game on TV, like it was, I, my, on move 30, my opponent still had 90 minutes and I had like 5 minutes left. I wasn't, that wasn't too good. Yeah, that was a huge blunder from my opponent from plus a to pretty much almost equal position. You had queen of 5, this bishop be 4. And yeah, he would be just be winning after rook a2. Uh, this is, this is, this is, this, 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 this. Uh, that was a blunder from me, I'd go for queen e4 and that would be equal. Uh, that was a blunder from me, I'd go for bishop a3 and he would be winning. Yeah, I was scared about bishop a3, bishop but I wasn't sure. Um, queen d7, this, 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 this. Th okay, bishop e5 was, no, nah, or queen e8 was a mistake. Queen e8 was a mistake, I'd go for queen d3. And then here, bishop c3 with compensation. 
I feel it slightly better. Okay, queen, queen, that was a mistake. I go for queen b5 and then rook a2, rook e2, rook a5. Here would be better. Okay, a5 was a mistake. I go for rook d8. Yes, so uh, he sucks the pawn, but then he goes rook d2 with ideas of this, this, and perhaps like bishop c5. So the only move for me is, oops, uh, is, 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 is g4. And then, yeah, he goes through these three with through h3 ideas. This, uh, ag, and he's just much better, almost winning. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, queen d7 was a blunder for me. I'd go for g4 with pretty much, yeah. Uh, bishop b4, he would be slightly better, but still. Uh, bishop b4 is a blunder. Here, go for rook d8. And then, yeah, I don't even have any, any g4 moves. Queen b4, the queen b5, this is just crushingly winning. Rook f1, this is. Uh, there was any next I'd go for queen d1 with the ideas of queen h5. It would be slightly better. Knight c5 was a blunder from him. He had to go for rook e2 or rook d2. It would be drawn. That was a blunder from me. Not a mistake. It was a huge blunder. He had queen f5. And then rook e2, queen h... Oops, my slip. Rook e2, queen h5. Rook e1, take, take. Uh, bishop g7, take, take this. And it would be winning. Okay. Rook d2, mistake from... No, it wasn't a mistake. It was the best move. Very much. This is this queen c4 mistake from me. I'd go for queen f3 and yeah, queen h5 and it would be better. Okay, knight d3. This bishop c5 mistake from me. I'd go for knight b2 and then I am forced to take this, this and it would be drawn. Uh, bishop c5 was a mistake from me. I'd go for bishop g7. Rook f2, queen d3. No, not knight f2. Uh, rook f2, queen d3, rook f1. Take, take, and after queen e5, I would be better. And then knight c5, this, 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 that was a blunder. I'd go for rook e2 with a dead drawn position, but he played uh, knight d3 and he blunt the rook. And I was an exciting player. Whew! That was a lot of analysis, but it was an interesting game. Uh, my games on liches and liches games with analysis. Yes, 2 knight c, pretty cool. And on the stream, I hope you had fun, guys. I think it was very exciting and interesting. I already joined the Discord and I'm selling Wales team and Wales team. Um, hope you like the stream. Probably gonna rate on a Kremlin, or if you have somebody else, let me know. It was fun stream. A very rough gaming and stuff. Well, life open up. We'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks a lot, Nike Need Two for fifty bits and watching the stream. Um, also everybody, thanks for the follows and joining a good game. Even though it was short, it was quite interesting. Um, yeah, thanks all for watching. Really hope you had fun. Um. An interesting, yes, rough gaming's life will open at 22 again, people. Interesting. Um, cool puzzles and very exciting gaming's Komodo. Um, so everybody, have a great day today. Buy Karma, buy uh, Nike in 2 buy my new spurs, buy 7 traps. Oh, my chat didn't load, so I guess I'm gonna check here. Buy 2 Blechik as well, yeah, sorry. Almost forward, buy FN Feng, buy Peshka is the best, buy Joseph X Aha, um, buy Darko, buy Alice Playhouse, buy Poki. Uh, by Giorgio Baraka, by Rutino Scorby 97, by uh, VQL, by Paul Mozzoloni, uh, by Sereshka, by Pan Stefan 17, and pretty much everybody. Really good fun, have a great day today, take care everybody, and bye bye.